Hello and good day everyone. My name is Muhammad Khairi bin Abdul Razak. I am currently pursuing a master's degree in UITM Shah Alam, Malaysia in the field of study of image processing. Now I will do a presentation on a review on digital image watermarking with crypto system techniques. In this era where many data are digital, communication is very easy to perform. As such, illegal distribution is also easy. For images, one partial solution to this is watermarking. Watermarking can protect the image where it is embedded. But this watermark need to be robust, imperceptible and secure. To, em to ensure robustness and imperceptibility, we use transform domain techniques and to ensure security, we perform encryption. Here is the image watermarking framework. First, we have the cover image, which will go tr through an encoder. The watermark will be embedded based on a secret key, and then we have the watermark image. Attacks may be used on the image, whether intentionally or non-intentionally. And then this image will go through a decoder for extraction, using a cord using the original cover image and a secret key. And finally, we will have the extracted cover image and watermark image. However, some algorithm may not need this original cover image because some algorithm, each algorithm is categorized as one of these. First is non-blind, where the original cover image is required during extraction. And next, blind scheme, which does not require the original cover image. And finally, semi-blind, which only requires some information of the original cover image. For transform domain techniques, <coughs> images are originally in the spatial domain as we know it. These techniques transform from spatial domain to frequency domain. And in the frequency domain, watermarks embedded will have higher robustness. So, watermark with the trans watermarking with transform domain generally follows this process. First, we have the original image, which is transformed using transform domain techniques. In the frequency domain, this is where the watermark and other processes is used to further uh, improve the algorithm. And then, inverse transform is performed to obtain the watermark image, which should ideally look similar to the original image. These four transform domain techniques are the common ones used by researchers SVD, DWT, DCT, and DFT. SVD decomposes a rectangular matrix into three matrices an orthogonal matrix U, diagonal matrix S, and orthogonal matrix V. The advantages of SVD are good resistance against geometric and signal processing attacks great energy complexion as well as lower computation cost compared to other techniques. However, it has the disadvantage of false positive problems during extraction. And next is DWT, which composes an image into four subbands, LL, LH, HL, and HH. Depending on where the watermark is embedded, it will have varying levels of robustness. DWT has the advantages of great spatial localization, multi-resolution representation, and good energy compaction. However, it has high computation costs when dealing with large image. Here is the representation of DWT. First, we have the original cover image going through horizontal transform and then going through vertical transform to obtain four subbands. Each subbands have half dimensions of the original cover image. And next is DCT. It transforms an image into the frequency domain and arranged in such a way that the top left have low frequencies and the bottom right have high frequencies. Images are often divided into blocks before applying DCT. The advantages are good energy compaction and strong against JPEG compression attacks as well as low computation costs. The disadvantages are block artifacts as well as weak against geometric attacks. This is the representation of discrete cosine transform. As can be seen here, the top left has low frequencies while the bottom right has the high frequency values. 
Next is the discrete Fourier transform. It decomposes an image into a sum of elementary signals with the central component having low frequency values. These images have complex values. The advantage of DFT is that it can recover from geometric distortions which include rotation, scaling and translation. However, it has high computation cost because we are dealing with complex values. And next is crypto systems. Crypto system protect data by changing them to different values which seem meaningless. It follows the process key generation, key distribution, encryption and decryption in that order. Images are usually encrypted using scrambling techniques. However, we can further improve the security by applying crypto systems. These are the four crypto systems applied by researchers in robust and imperceptible watermarking. First is the RSA crypto system. It is a public-private key crypto system and uses two large secret prime numbers. It is highly secure but when dealing with larger data, it is inefficient. And next is the DES. It is a symmetric key block cipher algorithm and encrypts plain text blocks of 64 bit through a series of permutations. And next is the AES, which is similar to the DES, except that it encrypts higher bits of blocks with higher bits of keys. Therefore, AES is in theory more secure than DES. And next is DH, Diffie-Hellman Key Exchange Protocol. It is a method to exchange keys between two parties. It is not exactly a crypto system, but it is very important in crypto systems where keys are used for decryption. <coughs> and finally, we will review on the seven algorithms of robust and imperceptible watermarking, which apply crypto system. First is by Saha et al. Saha applied DWT and RSA. First, the watermark image is scrambled using R0 scrambling. Then RSA is performed on the whole image. It is, in, it is slow to decrypt because the RSA is performed on the whole image. Since an image is a very large data, it is very slow. And next is Liu et al. who applied a hybrid of DWT and SVD with the RSA crypto system. First, the watermark is the watermark is scrambled by logistics, and then RSA is performed on the scrambling parameters of the logistics. This is much faster than the previous algorithm because the RSA is only performed on the parameters, which is a much much smaller plain text than a whole image. And next is by Kishore et al. who performed DWT and who applied DWT and RSA. The RSA is applied on the whole image. And for each in for the encryption of each pixel, a new prime between 1 to 200 is used. So each pixel will have its own private key. Like the first algorithm, it is also slow to decrypt. However, we should know it should be noted that with each decomposition of DWT, the image will become smaller and smaller. So with smaller images, it will be faster to encrypt with the RSA. And next is by Tiwari et al. applying DWT and DES. The image is split into 8 by 8 blocks before being encrypted with DES. This is inefficient due to the block size limitation of the DES. We called earlier that the DES only encrypts blocks of 64 bits. Next, Joshi et al. applied DWT and AES. The, their watermark is a decimal number which is converted into a binary coded decimal BCD before being encrypted by AES. Instead of embedding an image, they embedded a BCD which is interesting an interesting take on the watermarking process. However, I think that the BCD will have robustness problems. Next, Prasad et al. applied DWT and DCT with AES.
Instead of encrypting the watermark image, they encrypt the LL subband of the DWT decompose cover image. The author also mentioned that only a particular region is encrypted. This is important because the, this will make the encryption process way more efficient. And next is by Aparna et al. Using DCT and DH. DH is used to determine the XY position where the watermark is to be embedded. However, these XY values will greatly affect the imperceptibility of and robustness of the watermark due to the properties of the DCT transform image. So, in my opinion, the values of XY should be restricted to only certain regions of the frequency domain. In conclusion, applying crypto systems can be a challenge because of the way that images are represented digitally. First, images are uh, may be a very large data, and secondly, each pixel have a value, a range value where it cannot live. However, if we can somehow incorporate these crypto systems into the algorithms. We can greatly improve the security of the algorithm. Therefore, new methods need to be discovered where the crypto system application will not negatively impact the imperceptibility and robustness of the watermark. That is all from my presentation. These are the references used in my presentation. Thank you very much for your time. Please leave any feedbacks or comments in the comment section. Thank you.